What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effects Studios, and today we're inside of After Effects, offering the Creative Cloud subscription. I got to looking at one of my old videos right here. This one right here is After Effects Lesson 3 Set Font Size and Color back August 8th of 2011. And during watching this video, holy cow, that thing is slow as crap. But what made me decide to do something about that is the fact that this person right here, Nicola Christian, Great job, Google, showing me a video from 11 years ago. However, you can still learn pretty much whatever I showed in this video can still translate to other versions of After Effects. So there's nothing wrong with that. So I'm not really sure exactly why he made the comment that he did, but he made the comment nonetheless. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to go ahead and create that video over again. Not really exactly, but I'm just going to show you what was shown in that video a bit quicker. So we're going to create a new composition. Go ahead and click on OK. I'm going to hit Control T to bring up in our text tool. I'm going to do Dark Effects Studio. Come down here to our Title and Action Safe. And then if you move the cursor over your text, you'll see that it has a bracket line. That means that you can type. You click and you can type. If you bring it outside of the box, it gives you the arrow. This arrow allows you to move it around without having to jump over into the arrow tool or the selection tool. And so this right here, we're gonna put it right there. And then if you want to select it and change its font settings, that can be done right over here. So we just select everything, or if for whatever reason, it won't allow you to select everything, which I've noticed that it won't allow you to grab the last letter or the first letter and see that it won't do it. So you just simply click and select Control A or Command A on a Mac. And if we come over here, we can change our text size by simply dragging to the left or to the right to increase it. And then if we want to make everything, as you can see, there's breaks between each one of them. And what that is, is that right here, you can either bring it together to where there's no breaks. And that right there is the original size that it, and then if you can come over here then you can bring it back out again which i had it about right up in there if you want to change the font you come over here and you whatever options that are available to you you can change it to a bold i like the original one right here the light that just to me it just looks pretty cool come over here we go to our transform tool right here we're going to go ahead and bring this out to about two we're going to create a keyframe right there and then we're going to drag it all the way to the beginning put it at zero and it's automatically going to put it right here okay and then whenever we run it and there we go we've got it all the way up to the original size so that's pretty much what i was showing in the video with a little extra animation added into it i am wayne baron the stark fix studios i hope that this will help any newcomers into working with text within adobe after effects y'all have a good one now bye bye